Good morning. How are you? I hope that you're well. Um, if you don't know me, hi, hello, my name is Maya and I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya Ting. We have co-host, second cup of coffee, the Hulk. And we're being a bit bougie with a glass straw with a silicone tip. That's how we're rolling. It is Monday. It is October the 16th. It is my mother's birthday. And I am um, understanding why I am me. It makes sense. But um, I'm choosing to push forward. I am choosing to smile. I'm choosing to have good thoughts. I'm choosing to be happy and joyful. I am choosing. I'm choosing good. I'm choosing Christ. I'm choosing. I'm choosing. I'm choosing wise. I'm choosing wisdom. I'm choosing faith. Um, and that should be something that we do every single day, right? But some days more than others. And, um, yeah. It's crazy life. Life, well, we can do this. We can definitely do this. Um, the weather is changing <clears throat> and I'm thankful but I still have my fan on because I am a woman of a particular age but anyway immediately I thought <clears throat> Today we have to be busy. We have to be moving. We have to be doing things, which there is plenty that I have to do. I have to put, once a month I do, um, I buy snacks for the boys. And so it's like, I have to put that away. I have meetings. I have to clean the kitchen. I have to blah, 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 right? But today, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it easy. We are not going to work so much that we not feel. And that is something I was talking to my mentor about this morning. Sometimes we like to keep ourselves um, so busy because we don't want to feel the feels. Because feeling the feels is hard. I wonder when he's going to empty that. Yes, it's hard. It's a challenge. And we don't like that. And I get that. Sitting still is something about being still. It's a challenge. Um, and I am in my still error um, because when you're still you can hear when you're still you can listen when you're still you can be receptive when you're still that's how change can happen instead of just always keeping ourselves so busy and that's what I'm choosing today I'm going to do what I have to do but I'm gonna feel all the feels. I'm not gonna mask it. It's really no different than, like if you have a headache, you take an aspirin. And I do take aspirins when I have a headache because I suffer from migraines, right? But I have a bad habit of just
Okay, maybe I need to do something about this. Hold that thought. Yeah, this. Okay, I'll take care of this on its own. Oh, I see. But anyway, I do take aspirins when I'm not feeling well. Right? And, and that makes sense. But I have a very bad habit of waiting to the last minute. And if you know anything about migraines, if you don't take your medication during the, the first onset, you you know, it makes no sense to even take the medication. But I wait because I always have the feeling of maybe this will pass before I take the medication. Does that make any sense? Probably doesn't because I'm hearing myself and I'm like, Maya, what kind of point are you trying to make? But I think that we are so quick to medicate. We are so quick to try to find relief. We're so quick to do these things instead of maybe allowing the body to heal itself. And, and no shame to those who, takes, who take medication because I too take medication, right? But I'm, I'm not talking about mental health or even a physical health. I'm talking about an internal pain, um, which I know I have a lot of people in my family who are addicted to drugs because they want to mask the pain. And a lot of my life, I have chosen to be like a buffalo, go towards the storm and not so much run away from it. Because it's something about sitting in the pain I learn. I don't like it, but I think it's something subconsciously that I do often. And I'm going to be, I'm going to make sure that I am very conscious about doing that today and in this season to be still in the pain. Yeah. Feel all the feels. I don't look forward to it, but it's something that I, I do subconsciously. Ooh. And remember to breathe. And to why is the why is there a ladder on top of my mama's car? Okay, I don't want to think about it right now. But anyway. I know when I am sitting in my mess or sitting in a particular feeling that's not favorable, I always come out learning something, always. Always, for the most part. Okay. Come on. Oh no, I gotta get this out. Dooley Papa, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck in here <clears throat> because I'm about to close this door after I grab all the broccoli. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Do you normally shy away and run away from pain? Or do you gravitate to it? Let me know. Because I think as humans, it's normal to run away from pain. But I also think of it this way. If we didn't have pain, we wouldn't even know when we're hurt. <laughs> we wouldn't even know how to fix whatever is broken. I think pain is necessary. And there's a benefit to pain. And I don't think we look at pain like that. 
we look at pain as something we should just totally stay away from. I'm grabbing a knife to break up some ice. not a good knife but yeah that's just me that's how I am and how I'm wired so oh, the scissors and I know that may seem and sound weird When you've gone through a lot of pain, you learn to deal with it. Let me put you right here. I don't know if you're gonna stay, but you see this? Gonna do this on camera. Need to. I need to get some hot water or something. I'll do that later. Dually pop. I'm gonna leave the door open for you. The chair. Just let me know what you think about that. About pain. And what does the word say about pain? We should almost look forward to it. Um, Second Corinthians, I know that scripture is in the Bible and it's one of, one of my favorites, honestly. Um, Hold on. Yeah. So let me know what you what your thoughts are when it comes to pain. I mean, look over your entire life and see what your pattern is. What is your pattern when it comes to pain? What is your pattern? Now, I'm not trying to sit here to sell y'all a dream to tell you that every time Maya sees a storm coming, she runs to it. That's not true. You know, but there are certain things that I do just gravitate to. I was telling my mentor and I just recently told my husband that um, since it is my mother's birthday, what I sometimes do, not even on this day, but throughout the years, I revisit the night that she passed. I replay that and I sit in that. I sit in that and I don't know why I do that, but it does bring me strength because I'm able to compare where I was then to where I am now. But it is something that I do. No. That's when the other man is supposed to end. It's not true. So yeah, I replay that. I, I also replay certain traumatic events in my life and I replay them. And it does sound like a form of PTSD when you're replaying these traumatic events. Um, 
but it doesn't stop me, it propels me. I choose to use traumatic events to move me forward, to, to grow me, to strengthen me. So yeah, so let's focus on how we can do better in the area of being strengthened by our traumatic events and not allowing these events to define us as weak, to define us as inadequate, to define us to anything negative. Let's think about that. And let's go.
that's five minutes. Yeah, I have a lot more to do. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna already start dinner for the boys. My boys. <laughs> My men, should I say. So I have a lot to finish putting away, cleaning up, defrosting the the defrost the um what do you call that? Deep freezer. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. And I have a lot to do with my students today, so it's gonna be a good day. I will be coming back a little bit later to do our exercises. I'm feeling a lot better today. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's feel all the feels. That's how we learn. Let's stop ignoring things and putting a pause on things and not thinking about things. And when we think about things, not running it by Christ, asking, is this fact? Or is this false? Is this in line with your word, my thinking? Because remember, thinking becomes beliefs and your beliefs tie into your actions and behaviors. So let's be cognizant of that. Let's, let's not be questioned about our behaviors and we say, I don't know why I did that. That's a real, Lord. that's a pet peeve of mine. Why'd you do that? I don't know. You don't know. That doesn't make sense, right? So anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope and I pray that you guys have a good day. Oh, that second Corinthians scripture. Second Corinthians four, eight and nine. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Therefore, do, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly, inwardly we are being renewed day by day. So all these things, the crushing is going to happen to us. Um, being accused is going to happen to us. A lot of things are going to happen to us. But it's okay. Why? Because we serve a God who protects us. We're withering away on the outside, the exterior fact. But in the inside is what matters. And the inside is being renewed. So let's keep that in perspective. Let me get to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys oh, this afternoon for our exercise. I need to get dressed. I'm in my mommy's robe. Yeah. So I will talk to you guys later.